Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play Darius in the top lane and carry here in season 12. Your best runes possible to conquer, triumph, alacrity, last stand with bone plating, unflinching, attack speed, AD, and a resistance. Against range matchups, take D shield with second win. Super important. We're up against a melee matchup though, so we should be good to go with flash ghost. Pretty much always the best thing to take on Darius. Ghost gives you really good scalability and lets you team fight like an absolute machine. Start Q. Always try to keep your HP high. The higher it is, the enemies can never solo you because Darius passive OP, lots of damage. And when you fully stack it the five times, you get even more damage by getting extra AD. I don't know what ability this guy started. Hit him with an auto attack in the Q. We didn't get the Q tipper. Whenever you land the tip, it does more damage and it also heals you. So in a perfect world, you're landing the tip every time. And in that world, no one can ever beat you ever. I'm just going to walk up, hit him with a raw tipper because he's being super aggro. He's keeping us off the wave with his autos, though. He's been playing uh, very lane pushy. He got to lane first, so he kind of got to take control of the minions. Takes a turret shot for that, but his, tur but his uh, shield blocks it, basically. We're going to get our W now. We should be able to kill him. Got him for Q-Tipper. One more Q-Tipper, and this guy's done for, I'd say. W is a really good last hitting tool. Whenever it kills something, it refunds the mana cost, and it also reduces the cooldown by 50%. We're going to hook him up underneath the turret. Auto attack W reset. Thanks for the kill, Volley Bear. Very, very nice for us. I'll attack W reset. Playing aggressive on a Darius like that is extremely risky because you can always hook them underneath turret, auto attack W reset into Q. Try to push this whole wave really quick. Auto attack W reset. We'll go ahead and reset. I don't think we pushed it fast enough there. If we'd gotten to lane faster against Volibear, there's nothing he would have been able to do, but he already got to stack up his passive all the way, which makes things extremely complicated because uh, he gets a bunch of extra attack speed and then he gets on hit damage. It'd be hard to fight him because he has Ignite. Level one Darius is good, but it's not usually full all in mode unless the champion can't resist it. Volibear is one of the few top laners who can just raw resist it if he already has his passive stacked. Even though we didn't fully crash the wave, it would have been hard for him to freeze it there just because Volibear passive plus it was so close to his turret melees we're going to slowly leech in. We want to look for auto attack W trades, auto attack W reset into Q. Then we can pull off. Auto attack Auto attack W, he's dead. Auto attack Q. Once you have a lead of any kind, whether it's a champion advantage, level advantage, or gold advantage spent, you need to pressure it and actually fight them. Darius is not a passive top laner unless he has to be, which is not optimal for him to be. We're missing a lot of health and we don't have potions. I'm gonna go ahead and stay because we're about to hit six like really soon. And even if we have less HP than him, since we're underneath our turret, we should be fine. We'll just kite this back. Auto attack W reset, get the minion. Auto attack W reset, makes it so easy to last hit. His ignite might actually be up. If we just heal a little bit, we'll be fine. Auto attack W reset. I'm going to ghost for this. Get him with the Q. Yeah, I think this is a bad idea now. At least we get his ghost. We need to reset. We took too much damage. We need, we need potions here. Uh, Lilia burning her flash for that. Didn't turn out too well for her. Volibear is going to get a plate. Not the end of the world. Once you have Heartbound Axe, you really want to get a Boots and a Refill or Boots and a Potion. Then you usually go for Sheen. We can't afford it though, so we'll just go for the Ruby. Head back to lane. Missing a little bit of HP, that's alright. We'll heal back on the way there. 
Looks like we missed about a full wave. He got two full plates, but his tempo is going to be weird now because he doesn't have gold spent. So, I mean, he's going to have to reset. I'll get a plate or two in retaliation. Should not be the uh, end of the world for us. We're still at a spicy two kill advantage. Rip that minion. We could probably push him back from coming through his turret here. No, oh, never mind. It's a cannon wave. I don't want to fight him on a cannon wave. You got two plates. We got one plate. It's decent. We just pushed him off of two minions there. He didn't want to get hit by our Q. Auto attack double reset in the Q. I don't want to let him build up his five stack passive for free. Plus, I still have item advantage. So, auto attack W reset. Wanted to get the Q, couldn't find it. Auto attack E, auto attack W R. He's dead. He was going to die out from the bleed, so we just tried to turn. We have all that bonus at attack damage from fully stacking our passive. When that kicks in, it really throws off their survivability. Lily is bot side, so we'll stay for this plate. Then we'll be tied in plates. And we'll be sitting pretty. People who take Ignite, it, it pressures your level 1 a little bit in terms of you can't all in them quite as easily. But level 1, you still have range advantage over most melee matchups to where you can pressure them with your Q by walking towards them. If they don't back up, then they'll get hit by your Q. If they do back up, then... Uh, they'll miss minions and if they go to raw fight you They'll get hit by your Q or you can walk up to auto attack them first then Q if they have a dash It just depends Depends on what you need to do. Volibear doesn't have a dash so we can just rock Q him if he's in range or if we're faster than him Like I said your worst matchups on Darius are York Vayne and Dr. Mundo. Those are pretty tough to play Other than that his matchup spread is, in is incredibly in his favor and it's it should be easier for you than it is for them to win it because Darius is giga meta right now. I'll attack W reset. His wave's pushing into me. You want to max E first because per level it gives way more than what W gives you. The armor penetration is really useful. This isn't a bad gank, but Volibear is so far away from his wave. I'll attack W reset into Q. Going for the ghost auto attack. We weren't going to get the kill without ghost, even though we had tier two boots. He's getting too far away. Only got her with a single auto. I wish my hook was up. Speaking of my hook being up, she doesn't have boots. Auto attack double reset Q. Auto attack R. Your R has more range than your auto, so you, you really should be using it last anyways. It does more damage for each bleed stack you have on them, stacking up to five times, so... You can reach him with your autos. You can definitely reach him with your R. Auto attack W reset. Auto attack E. I really wanted to hit him with my R before I, I lost it. With your R on Darius, after you get a kill with it, you don't, you have a short period of time. You only have 20 seconds to reuse the ability. And it doesn't cost any more mana. He's trying to kill me with his R right now. He probably has Ignite as well. I think this is a big mistake out of him though. Auto attack, cute. Yeah, it wasn't worth it at all. He was being really greedy. He saw I was out of mana. He's trying to force something. Very greedy. Darius W is pretty cheap. His Q is pretty cheap. So even if Darius has 90 mana, he can hit you with two abilities. It's pretty much always auto attack and a W reset. It's the best auto attack resetter in the game. It's super fast. So if you auto W reset, you can immediately Q. The W animation is immediately canceled out by Q to, and the W still goes through. So auto attack W reset into Q. The slow from the W allows you to land the Q. The W is a 90% slow. The W also increases your auto attack range. So it makes it a really easy last hit tool on minions for things that are slightly out of your reach that you're being pressured on. 
We've taken turret, so it's kind of time for us to roam. There's nothing really left for us to get up there. We got tier two boots before we finished our first full item because they're, the, our laner we're playing against and their jungler are similar damage type. Against similar damage type enemy laner and jungler, the two people you're gonna have to be dealing with, getting the tier two boots to match that is really good. Gives you a lot of uh, survivability. So for example, Volley Bear does mostly magic damage, Lily does mostly magic damage, so we got any Merc Treads, we can chase them down, run away, and still have the tankiness from it if we choose to fight it to the death. If they were opposite damage types, then we would just chill on tier one boots and go in for our complete Trinity Force before we finished our tier two boots. Auto attack W reset, bada boom, got it. We ended up going back up top because there's nothing for us to really roam on there. Now we gotta go mid, kind of. I guess we can stay top, actually. If no one's gonna match me, we'll take turret for free. Take, take some monster camps as well. Might as well. Auto attack W reset. Not gonna use it on the turret. I don't wanna put it on full cooldown. Yeah, every time you auto attack your trinity force gives you a little bit of extra damage against turrets and champions ultimately i do think stride breaker is a little bit better on darius right now but for people iron through gold they kind of struggle to use activatable items to where they should just stick with trinity force trinity force does give you more damage output as well stride break you get the slow but at the cost of having less damage Trinity Force has the spell, spell Blade passive for extra damage and the threefold strike. The only thing the Stride Breaker has is the slow and then the movement speed. And Trinity Force has that extra movement speed whenever you land your autos. I'm just going to leave it here, let it keep killing minions so he has to wait. Auto attack double reset. I'm gonna go, so I think someone else might be here. Attack W set R. That guy did a stupid amount of damage. Holy moly. Now, granted, we don't have played still caps, but still, that was absurd. Checking her red buff real quick. Nothing here. We're gonna need to get Death Dance second item. The Aphelios is absolutely chunking. And this is gonna give us really good armor. And survivability death stance it staggers your damage taken by basically turning it all into bleed damage so instead of you dying all at once you have time to heal or get a kill and whenever you get a kill it gives you a bunch of healing it undoes all that damage that you've taken in the last few seconds plus gives you a big flat amount of healing so death stance is kind of nuts for darius if the enemies have a lot of physical damage Auto attack W reset. I hooked way too early there. There's no reason to hook that soon. Ah, I'm not faster than him. I'm moving 385 right now. Auto attack W reset. He doesn't have items, so we can still kill him even with less health. If someone doesn't have kill pressure on you, if you're already on top of them, you don't want to use your E. You want to save it to where you, when you can no longer reach them with your auto attacks. So Volley Bear with less items and a lower level, obviously he has no kill pressure to where I don't really have to worry about him being able to hurt us. So we can hold on to our E. We don't have to worry about using it to cancel their autos or anything like that or cancel any of their abilities. So you just auto attack, W reset, Q, stay on them with our autos until we can no longer reach them or they flash away and then we can hook them. Dragon isn't up. Volley Bear's bot side. I'll push top and drop Herald. My wave's already pushing, so we'll go for red buff real quick. Red buff would be really nice to have. Oh, hey, Lilio. 
I'm gonna keep her off of it so she can't reach it. Stand in between her and it. Even if she hit me with her bowling ball, the AoE wouldn't be able to reach the red buff since I was standing so far in between. Darius has fairly good auto attack range for a melee champion. It's kind of similar to an Irelia where he can hit you over minions and stuff with his base auto without even having to use his W extended range. attack W reset, two bot, there's kind of two mid. Volibear is the only one who could be here. Aphelios is overextending for kill. And these guys are gonna lose a lot if they don't react to this. I don't wanna use my Q right now because we're kind of low on mana. So. We might just end, dude, if they don't back. Holy crap. And with an auto attack, we'll back out, auto attack Q, auto attack WR, down he goes. You can't cancel Darius R once it starts. So even if they CC you, once you start it, it'll go off. Auto attack W reset on the Lilia. Whenever you get a kill, you're on your full stacks. You can instantly apply your passive five stack to another enemy champion with the single auto attack Q, W, really any attack. Very spicy. So we were able to apply all five stacks of our passive to the Lilia. Then our R is going to do max damage. All attack W set Lilia R. It's going to wipe it. That's why it's Darius meta, baby. We're only on one and a half items right now, too. Lilia had a full item and Volibear had a full item. Auto attack, W reset. Felios worries me a little bit, especially since I don't have R. He's doing a lot of damage. Oh, I don't know where Aphelios is, so I'm going to run. I don't feel like dying. Yeah, they're all here. They really want to get a kill on me. They're going to miss Dragon for this, though, so it's actually like, not bad for us. Aphelios is about to walk into us. Hopefully, this isn't warded. Oh, I think, it's, I think it was warded. It may still be warded. Yeah, it's warded. I don't know why that's warded, but it is. Auto attack W reset into the Q. Auto attack W reset R. I don't want to fight that. I don't want to burn flash just to have a high probability of dying. They're, they're all three wasting time trying to kill me, so. All I, sh all I need to do is stay alive. Even if I don't kill any of them, my team's getting things elsewhere on the map. Auto attack dub reset Q. Uh, Phileas is still top. By the way, you heal off of monsters with your Q on Darius. Because they buffed him to be a jungler. So, just keep that in mind. It does need to be a larger monster, though, for it to heal you. Let me go ahead and reset here. It's like a scuttle, big raptor, big wolf, blue buff, red buff, that type of thing. We'll try to lay it top, get a death stance. We'll go into dead man's now for mobility. Get rid of the refill, grab some more armor, get all of our mana back, and follow in our herald. And get a blue ward. Blue ward's pretty much always better than yellow wards at this point in the game. You can blind check heralds, drag dragons, barons from a safe distance without getting yourself killed. Volley bear, one and a half items. We're two and a half items. He certainly can't solo us. Plus, it's champ diff. If we're equal items, Darius still wins it. Oh, hey, buddy. I can walk him down. I have a... Uh, oh, come on. He's going to R away. I can feel it. I'll attack Q. Mm, hopefully, I didn't flash for nothing there. Ghost is so good. It's so much better than flash in the late game. Ghost scales based on your champion level. It gets faster and faster. And it also uh, increases its duration even longer per kill and assist the higher level you are. So me trading flash for ghost there, as dumb as it sounds, is actually kind of good at this point in the game. Early game, it's bad because flash is a way longer cooldown than ghost. But at this point in the game, ghost is way better. So I'm just laid a word here. Yeah, it's Felios. 
Three of them again. I don't think we're going to get anything else on the map, unfortunately. I don't have Ghost either, so it's not going to be easy for me to run these guys down. One versus three. Oh, baby. Auto attack W reset. Auto attack. Oh, I think she dies. Yep. I couldn't get another hit on her, so we had to do that with three or four hemorrhage instead of five. Gotta walk away from that. Stay alive. You don't want to team fight on Darius if your ghost is on cooldown unless you absolutely have to. So for now, we're going to continue to split push, pull them to us, and try to let our team do things. With that being said, our team is struggling to some degree. Four and six Draven. And a very fed Lucian. I think Lucian outskills Draven as well. Lucian has more consistent mobility to dodge skill shots than Draven has. Draven catching team fights in... Catching axes in team fights is also somewhat inconsistent in the late game if he's being pressured by multiple champions. Enemies are picking up some kills. They get Volibear though. I was nowhere near that, so team needed to just try to avoid a team fight instead of look for one. I'll attack W reset. Ow. Attack up reset, Q. Yikes, we're still in turret range too. That's so bad for us. That sucks, like really hard. That was like worst possible scenario. We get slept in turret range and turret doesn't wake you up. So we basically just take a bunch of damage for free. I don't know if she'll be able to catch us unless, she's, unless she does that. Heal off of her. She's slowed from our E and our W. Oh my god, that lands. I'm dead. That lands. Oh my gosh. If I would have dodged that. Absolutely tragic. So lucky, dude. She has hourglass. I can't do turret dives against Lilia. Sleep is in a, a bizarre ability in League. It in interacts in some extremely unhealthy ways. Like turrets don't wake you up. MFR doesn't wake you up. Burns, like brand burns don't wake you up. Teemo poison doesn't wake you up. Lucian R doesn't wake you up. Anything that's like damage over time where it could technically be hitting you before the sleep while simultaneously after won't wake you up. So it's, it's super annoying. If they have a misfortune in a Lilia, you get slept and you eat a full MFR and you don't wake up. It's so silly. But... Um, they're gonna leave it like that because they don't want a teammate to accidentally counter Lilia R by waking them up early type of thing. They get dragon. They're coming back for sure. They're all, they're not down that far. We got a thousand gold off me too. Why didn't the scuttle crab have a shield? Is Draven inting? What the heck? Oh, okay. I see. He's just trying to execute. <laughs> Makes a little more sense. Next time my ghost is up, we'll be looking for a team fight. Oh, Lily is the only one with hourglass right now. I need to keep that in mind if I try to kill her. two of them over here there's only so much i can do i'll attack into the r not gonna be able to chase him down is the thing i would love to it's just can't we applied full stacks to him he's full hp getting healed by nami so our r can't quite kill him I just don't understand how we're not getting anything else on the map while that's happening. Oh, he's farming camps. It's really helpful. I just don't know what's warded and what's not. I feel like I could probably kill this guy though. No, this is definitely warded. They're all hovering on this area. A pretty fast healing. Oh, we have an ocean drag is what's going on. Ocean drag heals you a lot over time. It's a 
like having a giga budget warmogs. Just don't, we don't have any vision on them out. Okay, we know where Aphelios is now. There could be someone still here in this bush. Auto attack W, reset Q. Auto attack E, auto attack R. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's four of them top. Oh my God. Please. Oh man, that's rough. You hate to see it. You hate to see it, bro. Such Wani might be able to solo him. Peppy and Draven are struggling right now. I don't know what... Uh, I guess more mobility would help, but ultimately they have so much true damage. A lot. True damage from Volibear item. Lucian true damage on his mythic. They have two different ignites. Sterix would be good here, but so is Force of Nature. I'll go Force of Nature for now. Sell our D blade. I don't think Draven wants to team fight. He's content with farming camps right now. That was so close though. We almost killed all of them. If I didn't get hit by full Lucian R or like full Lily, if I didn't get hit by Lily R, I think we kill everyone because we had our passive fully stacked. We could instantly apply it to someone else with just one hit, drop R, and they'll instantly die. So even though we, <laughs> even though it didn't look close, it actually was. The sad thing is they can four man group on me while simultaneously winning the rest of the map. Like generally if they send four people for you over an extended period of time, they should like lose a turret somewhere else but Aphelios one versus two and then shove the wave. He has a teammate there. There's probably a third person hiding. I assume he has more teammates following. If he doesn't, he's gonna die. Yeah, I guess he thought just because we'd been dying that he could solo us all of a sudden. He didn't realize that they were killing us like one verse four. We get full R reset since it's level three R, which is really nice. We don't, it, it's not a temporary like 20 second reset. It's like a full reset. Auto attack W reset, E. Auto attack R. Down he goes. We had to prep our Q ahead of time as we walked into him because his recall almost went through. He thought I wasn't going to be able to cancel his recall, but we got there just barely in time. Just barely. I hope we get Dragon, man. I really, really do. We have three people against their three. If they go for Dragon, they lose a lot. Someone's going to have to match me. We're really fast off dead man's and the winged moon plate. Enemies don't go for dragon. That's good for us. They shouldn't be allowed to because they have someone here and two teammates dead. We have more players on the map. Plus the failure solution are both. They're their most fed players that they're missing at the moment. We'll heal off the raptors, eat some fruits. Oh, and the enemies get dragon. That's not good. That is not... That's no bueno right there. Auto attack R. I really hope he dies. I don't think he will though. Yeah, we get exhausted. The exhaust cucked us pretty hard there. Our bleed wasn't doing enough damage. And Lucian might have healed too. I'm not sure. That's rough. Took almost all physical damage there. Really tempted to, uh, yeah, we'll just go Thornmel. Thornmel or Hold Break. Hold Break gives up to 75 armor. Lucian and uh, Felius are doing so many autos. I think Thornmel might be a little bit better. Oh man, it's so hard to kill these guys. So challenging. 
their team i think has way better coordination if you look at the kp as a whole across the board their kps are much higher kill participation kills and assists like even me even though we're doing really well right now we only have 15 kp out of 37 kills that's less than half they have several players who have above 50 percent kp and we don't have a single person which means a lot of people are just dying on their own on our team or getting kills on their own Oliver should die here. Yeah, he's trying to force the all in. I'll attack double reset Q. I'll attack R. He almost killed GP anyways. GP probably shouldn't be splitting. He can't solo the one in 15 volley bear. It's dangerous. We get the full R reset. Hopefully GP R slows them down from ending the game. I'll attack double reset. Please hit the turret. Please hit the turret. Holy moly. Should be able to outrun them. As long as Lily isn't speeding off of minions, they base, so now they're, they're gonna lose that fight. Yeah, makes for the red buff. Oh, it's warded. <laughs> she autoed it. What a little turd. I'm going to help myself to this blue buff. For I don't know why, but Sejuani hasn't been playing around us at all this game, which is weird, because generally junglers play around their stronger laners. I don't think she's ganked a single time for us or come top ever. And I know you're going to say, oh, but you were already winning. Why would you need to come? There's a lot of times we're getting ganked or it's obvious they're all going to group on me. And if I had another teammate there, we'd easily be able to kill all of them. But there, it just hasn't happened yet this game. This has absolutely not happened. I need to shove. There's weird stuff going on over there. Oh, Nami's over here. Oh, that's bad. Still not easy for them to chase me because the dead man's. But yeah, they sent like three or four people top. Yeah, three people top there i'll attack dub reset i'll attack r got the lucian flash it's really good for us good gpr lucian strafe so i couldn't really follow it that's still really good we got a lot out of that i'm gonna go top we're healing a lot per second we're moving at 480 volley bear's only moving when he's not auto attacking he's only moving 390 so we're moving way faster than him it's like a difference of tier tier two boots essentially. So tier twos give you well, 45 movement speed, so yeah, more than tier two boots differential. Hey bud. I'll attack W reset. Into Q. I'll attack E. He R's away. We'll walk him down. I don't really want to uh R him. It's not worth it. These guys are definitely in trouble as long as I don't die. Every single one of my deads, regardless of what our teammates have been doing, I could have avoided it. If you don't see enough people on the mini map, you have to make your decisions accordingly. Like if there's three or four people missing, you have to assume they're waiting to kill you. We had to be more patient, essentially. That was why we died every single time where we were just rushing stuff. Auto attack W reset. We'll be full build soon, so it's, we're not gonna fall off, but to some degree, they're gonna be catching up because we won't be allowed to buy any more items. So, need to keep on the pressure. They're chasing my teammates, chasing in a GP barrel is not the best idea. They're gonna lose last heart here. That's GG's. They have to back right now. I'll attack W reset and E. I'll attack Q R. Oh, I'm getting creep blocked so hard. That's unfortunate. I needed one more auto attack on Nami for my R to kill. 
It's possible we could have ended if we kept hitting the Nexus. I don't think so, though. We needed too many autos. Go for Thornmail, I guess. Only because of the healing on the Aphelios. Lucian didn't really buy any self-healing, shockingly. We could push for a uh, Hole Breaker. We haven't been team fighting at all. Hole Breaker is really good for not team fighting. Gives you a bunch of stats. Essentially, two items worth of stats. 75 armor and uh, 75 magic resist at this point in the game. Plus, it empowers your large minions, gives them 225 armor and magic resist, and increases the damage they do to towers by 200%. So. Question is, what would we sell for it? Maybe just get rid of Force of Nature because they don't really have much magic damage. Could get rid of uh, this item. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Death Dance for the whole break. At this point in the game, I think it's worth it. We're basically only losing 15 ability haste and a very slight survivability for way more survivability and no ability haste, essentially. That's all we're losing. I'm gonna have to go rush their base or we're gonna lose. I assume I'm gonna be on a ward. They're gonna have to recall. They're trying to force an end, but. Yeah, I need to force them to actually back. Oh, they didn't back, they lose. My teammates are stalling them. We might actually have to run away. Oh. Oh. Oh, baby. Let's go. The turnarounds. Had to kite it out a little bit with the cues. Auto attack. W reset. Auto attack. Auto attack. Holy moly, that game was a little bit too close for comfort. We'll take a look at the graphs. Probably most damage dealt on our team, most damage taken on our team, I'd assume. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the second most in the game behind the Lucian. Looking at damage taken, we had taken almost the most in the game, but behind Volibear. But if we look at self-mitigated damage, I think we'll be the highest. No, said Juani at 100k self-mitigated. We self-mitigated 80k, that's 40k more than Volibear. So Juani self mitigated about uh, 77 more K than on uh, third. Wait, what is that? 20, 23 more K than us. So damage taken, we had 40 K taken more than Volibear through self mitigated. So we essentially took 90 K and he took that much. And then Sejuani so took, so yeah, we took more damage then we took the second most in the game. We took more, way more than Volibear and everyone else, but Sejuani had 23k taken more than us if you count self mitigated. For our runes, we got really high value. Super happy with this build and its carry potential, even if your whole team's struggling and um, the, the enemies are essentially camping you. Darius is still the best top laner in the game right now. You should definitely give him a try. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to hack the algorithm. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.